Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you film Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Um, this is a three pile, pick a pile reading, and this is for the healing energy sessions. Okay, I've been getting a lot of weird feelings about questions that need to be answered. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw those in here and there. So you guys can, because maybe there's somebody out there that's resonating with these questions. And I guess that's why I'm feeling to do these. Okay. So <clears throat> today's question for pile one, two, and three are, how can I do better with my life? So maybe you're hitting a lot of roadblocks. Maybe you're not understanding why you can't move forward. Okay. Maybe there's some sort of blockage somewhere. Okay. I'm trying to make them straight and I'm making them worse. Anyways. So maybe you're thinking about that, like how can you move forward? Because, you know, you just keep hitting these roadblocks. Things aren't working out for you. You're feeling like, oh my God, my life is shit. I can't do anything. Nothing is going right. Okay. Maybe that's it. Maybe this is the problem here. Maybe you just need assistance. Maybe those around you are not really giving you any good advice. And they're possibly just, you know, leading you off into a negative direction, something that's not beneficial for your life, right? Could be my little incense. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's what could be going on, okay? So the question again is how do I do better in my life? Okay, these cards will tell us your story. At the end of the reading, I will pull some oracle from the um, Surrender Oracle deck and from the Buddha Wisdom Shakti Power deck, okay? So hopefully you've had enough time to choose which pile is actually calling out to you. Um, if you need more time, just go ahead and pause the video. I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your destiny. If something bad shows up here, okay, so what? Change it right? Change it. You know that there might be some deceptions or whatever going on. Use your conscious self to change it into something more positive. That's what I mean when I say it is you who creates your own destiny. Okay. Um, I'd like to also say, please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. There's probably somebody out there who needs it. And the more we share, the more we heal. Okay. Do something for the fellow man. <laughs> All right. To my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Hopefully we can get you some help today. But with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to pile number one. Pile number one is first. Okay. So here is pile number one. Okay. And the question, once again, is how can I do better in my life? Well, let's find out. Let's find out what's going on first. Okay. I love this stone. I don't even know what it is. I think it's some sort of moonstone or something like that. Nah, moonstone is a lighter color. It's, uh, it's very sparkly. Very sparkly, and it is the dolphin. You know, the dolphin represents harmony and wisdom. So if you chose pile one, you may have come into some sort of wisdom, and you're realizing the truth about something. And now all you want to do is you want harmony in your life because you are tired of the deceptions, of the sadness, of whatever is happening with you, whatever is not allowing you to do better in your life. You want to let that go. Let's see what your story is. We have the Empress. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. We have the star, we have the queen of swords, we have the five of rods, three of rods, king of pentacles, the star, three of swords, and the two of pentacles. All right, so it does seem like there is some deception going on here, some three-party situation, situations. And it all has to do with the Empress and the star. Mm, could be dealing with somebody who is an Aquarius. 
All right. I don't take reversals on these because I set them out myself, but we will find out if these are reversals once we get the story started. And I have a feeling that some of those stars are definitely in the reverse. Have that reverse feeling, right? So let's start from the beginning. We have the Empress here. And the Empress is a pregnant woman. She could just be pregnant with wonderful ideas to move forward. Ideas to enhance somebody's life. Um, this Empress is um, somebody here, or maybe you. You could be the Empress, or this could be someone in your life. And you are wanting to move towards that person for wish fulfillment. Somebody wants wish fulfillment with the Empress here. This pregnant woman, this woman full of ideas, this woman who is abundant in every way, financially, emotionally. She is intelligent, and she's grounded. She's got all the elements and the ethers, okay? We all know what the ethers are. That's energy. The ethers are the energy that we all hold inside us. Now, we can have high energy or we can have low energy. She's got high energy. She manipulates the ethers to work in her favor. And that's how she is able to move forward and be this abundant empress that she is. So perhaps you have found out some wisdom in regards to this empress. And you are trying to make harmony, have harmony with this person. And maybe you're wanting to move towards that person. Either that or you're trying to move away from that person. All right. Now, I do have the Five of Cups here. And the Five of Cups represents being left out in the cold. So either you or this Empress has been left out in the cold. And it's at the doing of the star. You had hopes in a situation. You ended up being left out in the cold. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, and that's what I think it might be here. Because the card, the star, represents an Aquarius. And then right after that, we have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords could have left you out in the cold. Maybe you had hope in a situation, but it's just not happening. Queen of Swords um, has put somebody out in the cold. Or the Queen of Swords is out in the cold. Right? That card, 17 card here, that's in the reverse. That's what I would take as in the reverse. Because it is between the Five of Cups and the Queen of Swords, and the actual card represents an Aquarius, which is an air sign. So this air sign has done something to leave either you or themselves out in the cold. <clears throat> I already know what it is. And if you guys can read cards, you do too. But let's go on for those who don't. Okay. I have the Five of Rods here. And the Five of Rods is somebody being all up in their head, kind of trapping themselves in their head. And it's about this Empress. They're stuck in this their head about this Empress, wanting wish fulfillment with this person. So I'm thinking that this person is waiting for the perfect time to offer wish fulfillment to this Empress. If this is you, you're waiting for the perfect time to talk to this person because right now you're in your head and you can't stand it anymore. You could be this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles moving away from the Empress or towards the Empress. I think it's towards because we have this wish fulfillment card here. You want wish fulfillment with this Empress. You're just waiting for the perfect time to come in. You are the King of Pentacles and you are grounded stable. I mean, you could have all that stuff or you couldn't. You don't have to have a lot of pentacles. Perhaps you are abundant in being grounded, rooting, rooted. Perhaps you are stable uh, minded, right? Perhaps now you understand shit and you're ready to move forward. Okay. You may not have a lot or you may doesn't, you know, whatever is here, however your situation, you could have a lot of financial gain or security, or you could have a little bit, but have an abundance of knowledge in regards to being balanced. And that's just as good. Okay. Because somebody who's like that can definitely build uh, for their future on their own. They can do it because they have the right mindset. If you have the right mindset, keep it positive all the time, even when things go bad, knowing that everything will work out for the best, you're going to get what you want. 
just got to stay away from all those negative uh, entities, negative people, the people in your circle who are negative. Just stay away from those people because you can see apparently that they're not going anywhere, most likely. And do you want to stay around with those people? Or do you want to finally break free from that and start the life that you know that you deserve? Because you can do better in your life. That's why you're here, trying to find out how. Okay, this is the first step, I guess. But there's a lot of steps to go after that. I'm not the answer to everything. I am the one that helps you to think and to find the answers yourself and to come up with your own solutions, right? That's what we do here. So I see the star again. And you know, the star is definitely surrounding this Five of Cups energy. So these are these stars are both in the reverse. Okay, I'm going to tell you that right now. These star cards are definitely in the reverse. There has been treachery that has happened. Okay, everybody tells you the star card is about hopes and wishes and dreams and everything's going to be fantastic. Newsflash. It's not like that all the time. The star card can be a very treacherous card. Deception, treachery, lies, third party situations. Anything negative. Because the star is hope, but when it's in reverse, all that hope has been diminished. And you're not going to have any good hope in that situation. So you may be involved with somebody with air in their chart, this queen of swords. And this per person has been absolutely treacherous to you, left you out in the cold, had you believing, having you hoping that everything's going to be good, but they lied. They lied. They're not faithful. They're not loyal to you at all. Why? Because they put you in a three-party situation and they were juggling. They were juggling, going with, you know, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Who knows? Shoot, maybe Tom, Dick, Harry, uh, Jesus, Juan, uh, Rodolfo, however many. However many. And just left you feeling humiliated and deceived. So now you're like, wait a minute. Because you could be the queen of uh, you could be the king of swords or holding that energy along with this king of pentacles because the king of pentacles, and uh, you know this is a very stable person, and if the queen of swords is with her queen king of swords, the king of swords is the emperor, but the queen of swords is not, the queen of swords is not, the empress would fall under the category of the queen of hearts because she's loving and nurturing and she cares. King, Queen of Swords is like, she, she'll, she'll give you a quick chance, but if you don't come, you know, right to her, if you don't give her what she wants, the money that you have in your pocket, all your time, whatever, because the Queen of Swords wants it all. In this reading, the Queen of Swords wants everything. If you don't bring it to her, she's just going to go look for it somewhere else, whether you're married or not. And that's in this situation. That's in this situation, Okay. Doesn't mean the Queen of Swords is always like that because the Queen of Swords is very intelligent. We all got a little bit of Queen of Swords in us, but this Queen of Swords right here, she's she's deception. She don't like the Empress at all. She may not show it, but oh, it's there. <clears throat> so if this kind of sounds like your story in regards to how can I do better in my life? Well, obviously, someone needs to go and somebody needs to step forward to someone else. Can you do it? That would help your life, I think. But that's the end of pile number one. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number two. Remember, at the end, I do pull oracles to try and get some advice from the universe. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so this is pile number two. For those of you who chose the second pile, and the question is, how can I do better in my life? Well, let's find out. So first of all, we have the steer skull, right? 
The steer skull represents silent testimony. So you could be, if you chose this pile, you could be somebody who's keeping a secret. Okay. It could be that this secret that you're keeping is actually holding you from doing better in your life because you're not facing this secret. Perhaps if you face the secret, things will look up for you. It's not good to keep secrets unless it's like a secret like you're going to throw someone a party or something like that. You know, That's a good secret. But when you have deceived somebody and you're keeping it a secret, or maybe you're harboring some sort of emotions, those emotions can turn into all kinds of physical ailments. Physical, yes. When you hold in emotions, you can start feeling it in your knees, in your arms, in your joints, especially in your back. Terrible pains in the back. Even though you've never had any back injuries, you know, they do say that a lot of our emotions are harbored in our back, and that's why people have so many back pains. Why? Because they don't express themselves. They don't, they don't deal or uh, face their problems or emotions, and that's where the pain comes in, you know? Let's see what your story is, and we'll find out what's going on here. All right, we have the world card. <clears throat> the moon. There it is, the secrets. Those secrets that are fucking up your back. And the back stabbing. Okay? <laughs> does that not just match what I just said? Sure does. Your world's in turmoil. Why? Because you're keeping secrets and you're feeling it in your back. Except others are backstabbing you in the process. Ten of Cups. The Justice card. The Six of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Justice, and the Three of Pentacles. Wow, you guys. Whoever picked this, you got some shit going on. Let me see. Well, like we said before, well, let me tell you. We have the World card. We have the Moon card. We have the Justice card, one on top of the other. Right? There's going to be some mega, mega justice here, all right? Mega justice. Somebody, things are going to work out in this one, I see. So let's start from the beginning, and let me explain to you why, even though these first cards are kind of uh, a little bit fucked up, we're going to see why I feel that this is going to be good, right? All you other readers out there, you can tell too already, I know it. But there's some of people out there that don't understand, so let's go ahead and start with this. And if you have any extra stuff to say about this, oh, by all means, please, I'm begging you, comment below. Okay, so in your world, whoever's watching this, you have secrets. And those secrets has caused backstabbing, either for yourself or for others. And it's all because of these lousy secrets, possibly lies and deception, right? Lousy. That first three cards, is that word is fitting for those first three cards. Now, then we have the Ten of Cups here, and you are wanting this Ten of Cups. And you're possibly wanting this Ten of Cups with somebody that you know that you absolutely know is your person. Why? Because you feel that this person, like you know them, you know them from before. You don't know how, maybe you dated them and you know them, yeah, but there's something deeper here. Like you know them from before, before, as in past lives. And the reason why I say this is because, you know, a lot of these cards, there are Ten of Cups. It looks different here and there, right? This one has the infinity symbol. So the reason why I say that you know or you feel that you have to be with this person is because you know that this person has lived past lives with you. This person could be a relative from the past life, could be a wife from the past life, brother, sister, friend, whatever. 
But when it comes to this Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups is love, emotion, happy family, happy life. So this person I'm feeling is possibly your spouse from a past life. And maybe you've just realized that, but you're keeping it a secret. You're keeping it a secret because you know that somebody's going to come and try to come in and ruin this union. You already know this. So what you're doing is you're keeping it a secret because you don't want those negative people, that negative energy, that toxic energy to interfere in this relationship. Yes, this is somebody from your past. Look at that Six of Cups right there. You are trying to have justice with this person. All right, this is a head over heart decision. You are going to balance the head and the heart in this whole situation. You are going to see what has happened. You are going to see um, who was there for you, who wasn't, who was deceptive. And then you're also going to see who cared for you, who loved for you, and who was on your side the whole time. And that's what's going to bring the balance in. That's why the Justice card is the 11 card. Because 11 is a master number. 11 represents enlightenment, realization, messages from the divine. That number is so special. So that this whole pile right here, whoever I'm talking about, your life is being divinely guided. So you might feel like, oh, my life is shit right now. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. Don't worry, because the divine is basically like following you around like a puppy, watching your every move. They're watching the bad stuff you do, and, you know, sad to say, they're going to bring in the karma for that. But they're hoping that all these karmas that they have to throw at you are going to have you realize that your future is already been set. They already knew you were going to cause deception. They already knew that you know, whatever you have to do, what your next step is. They already know what you're going to do. So they're throwing in karma with it. So you can find, it's like them slapping you in the face and saying, hey, pay a, a fucking attention. All right? Pay attention. Do you see that all the wrong stuff you're doing is bringing you bad karma? Can you please straighten your ass up and move forward the right way? Because if not, you know, just keep doing this and we'll just shorten your life. How about that? No, we don't want that. Because we want to enjoy life. You know, we're put on this earth to enjoy life. We're not put here to suffer. I used to think that, okay, because my whole life was straight suffering, sucked, okay? But things are starting to look up for me now. So now I believe that either I was carrying past life karma or maybe there was a couple things I didn't do in my lifetime that was very nice. And I paid my price. And possibly whatever past uh, karma I'm receiving. Because, you know, I'm a very, I'm a pretty decent person. I'm very vocal, very verbal. I speak my mind a lot. But my essence is a very kind person. And I care about everyone. Even those who have hurt me. I still have compassion for those who have just dragged me through the mud, hurt me, whatever. Because... I've been given a gift to see their pain. It kind of sucks because I don't want to see that, but I've been gifted with that and I'm trying to use my gifts to help others, right? <clears throat> That's why we have the healing energy sessions. Yay, right? <laughs> okay, so let's move on from here. I have the Knight of Pentacles and he's coming in with a message and he wants to give that message to his Queen of Cups. There she is. Queen of Cups in a regular deck is the Empress. Because you can have your decks with no major arcana. How are you going to figure out who's who? Well, each of these cards double, right? The Queen of Cups in a regular poker deck, if you're somebody that likes to read from poker decks, because there's a lot of people who do that, it's not so hard. It's very easy. People just don't feel like they want to take the time to do it. Whatever, it's okay. No big deal. But the Queen of Cups is actually the Empress. So this king
king, knight of pentacles sees the empress or is bringing a message to the empress of, you know, financial security and stability only. Whoever you, you are watching this video, you're keeping this message a secret. Because you are afraid that if you let anyone know that other people are going to get involved and here goes the backstabbing all over again. So you're feeling as if you need to move in silence when it comes to this Queen of Cups. And that's smart, especially if you're around a lot of toxic people. If you're around people who are just, ugh, they're out to just make your life miserable. It's good that you want to keep this a secret, right? Because maybe you're tired of getting backstabbed by these people and they're all celebrating your failures and your backs, you getting backstabbed. They're happy to see you in that mode. That's why we have the Three of Cups here. Three-party situation. This could be people you know. It doesn't even have to be romantic relationships. This could be people you know. And they're raising their cups in happiness because they're seeing you get backstabbed. Ha, ha, ha. That person, they're getting fucked over. That's fucked up, but it's reality. Okay? So this is what's happening. We have this Ten of Pentacles right under the Ten of Cups. Right under it. So once you do get your Ten of Cups, boom, Ten of Pentacles right after that. Because whoever this is that you're keeping a secret that you know something about now, I think you know that this is your person, but you're trying to play like it's not. Because everyone else you already know is trying to not allow this union. Once you get into this union, keep your stuff private. Let a little time pass. Prove yourself to this person, to this Queen of Cups. Because if you have deceived this person in the past, you better believe that you're going to have to prove yourself. You're going to have to prove your loyalty. You're going to have to prove that they can trust you again. But when you do, justice. Justice. Right under justice. And I got super goosebumps right now. Super goosebumps. You're going to have your justice. You are. You are. If you take the right steps, stick to the plan, keep that silent testimony. Keep it a secret. Because if you know that this is going to be a problem, if you bring it up to anyone, do what you got to do to protect that secret. Okay, because you know that there's going to be other people trying to interfere and stab you in the back if they find this out. <clears throat> Hopefully there's no cross watchers here. All right. Now, once you get that justice, that's when it happens. You start working on things with this person from the past. Look at, she's like, <laughs> she's like hugging the pig. Maybe you're the pig. You were a pig in the past, but you know what? Pigs are cute too. And she's going to nurture that little piggy and she's going to love it. She's going to love it. And she's going to work things out with this person from the past. And I'll tell you why. Even though the Queen of Cups, you might be keeping her a secret. Queen of Cups knows all the secrets already too. She knows. She knew. She knows that you'll get backstabbed from these people. She knows that she, that you are her person, that she's just waiting for you, for you. She knows that she will receive her justice, not just you, but she's going to receive her justice because she knows you're coming back. She's been waiting for you and she will keep your secret. Why? Because she's the queen of cups. She's the empress. She loves you. She is the epitome of love and you know this you know this all right so that's pile number two you guys very deep very deep but do what you got to do to you know it's kind of like you got to do what you got to do to save the ship and if it means to stay silent and move in stealth do it do it avoid this avoid that and avoid these people because these people are stabbing you in the back. That's the main part that I'm hoping that whoever chose this pile sees. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. I care about this for you. Stay away from these people. They are stabbing you in the back. 
realize who your real people are. Not these people, not the people you've been around. It's the person you're not around. Maybe this is the only person you need in your life, but you feel like you need a bunch of people, but look what they're doing to you. There's a lot of competition. Not competition as in relationship competition, fighting for someone. It's competition as, I don't want you to succeed. You're going to stay a failure like all of us. You are part of our group. We are the failure group. Yay, failures. No, <laughs> no, that's not you. And you know this. So you got to slip away from this failure group, team failure, <laughs> and go towards whatever you want, this real life, you know, that you want. This person has been deceiving you when it comes to this person. These people have been trying to keep you away from the Queen of Cups, the person that you keep a secret, the person that you secretly love that you don't tell anybody about. They, they know. Why? Because they're probably doing readings on you. They probably checked your birth chart. If somebody has access to all of your, when you were born, your birth certificate, they got access to your birth chart and your future. Hmm. Who could that be? Who has access to your birth certificate and your birth chart? Who do you think? Who knows the exact time when you were born? Who do you think? Mm-hmm. Kind of hits close to home now, doesn't it? She probably told you this too before. <clears throat> Anyways. So, that was pile number two. Hopefully we got you some answers. Okay. And if it sounds a little bit like your story, I will definitely see you at the end. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to pile number three. Okay. This is pile number three. And the question was, how can I do better in my life? Well, let's find out. Another stone that I like with those little sparklies in it, kind of like the dolphin. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we have the bear. The bear represents strength, right? Introspection. The bear is a strong ass person. All right, you see that? You know, there have been attacks by bears on one swift swoop. Bear knock you out, kill you right there. This bear is strong. But you might be going through a little bit something right now, trying to figure something out. Maybe you need to be strong because you need to leave a situation. Or maybe you need to strong be strong because you need to repair a situation. But you are strong nonetheless, and you are beginning to see the truth around you. You are beginning to see what's actually going on. Why, you know, somebody is being deceptive here to you, I think. This is what I feel. And you are starting to see it. You are starting to realize it. Mm, let's find out what's going on here. We got the Three of Cups, <clears throat> we got the Star. The Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords, Eight of Cups, The Fool, The Hanged Man, The King of Rods, The Tower, yep, King of Oysters, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> All right. I see it. Do you guys see it? The star is playing a big role today. Big role in this now. And I mentioned before, the star is like hopes and dreams and rainbows and happiness, right? But because I don't do reversals here, the star in reverse can be treachery, sadness, deceit, ultimate betrayal. <clears throat> Um, we have the star, the wheel of fortune, the fool, the hanging man, the tower. That's one, two, three, four, five major arcana here. Five. What, there's only like 21 or 22 major arcana out of a 57 card deck? Five here? Something is going on. 
and it's something that you really need to be strong about <clears throat> because somebody may have dug a hole and now you are trying to figure things out. One moment, please. Okay, so the Four of Swords now. <clears throat> the Four of Swords indicates that somebody is thinking about something. Why? Because an offer was made to you by this star person, possibly an Aquarius. Maybe they're asking you to get on that Wheel of Fortune with them. Try it again. Whatever. But you're not accepting this offer. You're not rejecting this offer. But somebody is having hopes in moving forward with you. Okay? It doesn't have to be an Aquarius. It could just be that hope card. Okay? And they're wanting to move forward on this Wheel of Fortune with you. But... You know, somebody is going to be putting some thought into this because perhaps there was some walking away in this situation. And now they're walking away and trying to start something new. So, you know, there's going to have to be some thought put into this because somebody has walked away and wants to start new. <clears throat> now, this person who's giving you an offer is actually kind of in the hangman mode can't move forward, doesn't know how to move forward, okay? And this King of Rods is wanting to come in passionately because they have hopes that you might get them out of this hangman mode. Perhaps they're going through a tower moment in regards to that Wheel of Fortune. Perhaps they made the wrong choice. They jumped on that Wheel of Fortune with this star individual here, and that brought the tower down on them. This could be you. You could have had the tower brought down on you because of this person, this star individual. This could be an Aquarius, but there was an offer made, and maybe this person turned you down because it shows here on this Wheel of Fortune, look, there's two people on that wheel, and someone gets kicked off. That could be you right there, getting kicked off. And that's why that's this tower moment is here. You were deceived by somebody. And that person puts you in the hangman mode for the longest. But you're starting to gain your passion back. The only problem is, yeah, you're deceiving, you're, you've been deceived and you're still, still hurt from this tower moment. You're still hurt. And if it was that devastating, yeah, somebody really probably dragged you through the mud. That's probably why you can't do better in your life, because you're in this stuck hangman mode. This person has hurt you and deceived you. They lied to you. They ran off with someone else and kicked you out of the picture. Tower moment. Boom. Right? You could be holding this energy of the king of oysters, though. Maybe whatever happened here... It was very devastating, yes, maybe even humiliating. But that person did wrong, and you were able to possibly prove it, where it left you holding the dough. Because you were trying to be good. You were trying to have something. You were trying to start something new. But somebody had to go within because it just didn't feel right. And then you figured something out, you walked away, now you're trying to take a new journey, but you're still kind of stuck. Because you don't know, because you maybe you have an offer for somebody, but you don't know if they're going to accept that offer now. Right? It's kind of like the tables are turned. Someone made you an offer, tried to get on that wheel of fortune, you kicked somebody off that wheel. So maybe you were involved with somebody before, this person came in, made you an offer, and you kicked that person off the wheel. You could have even made this person walk away from you, start their own journey. They're st they were in hangman mode, but they got their passion back, and they realized it's over, and I'm moving on. And now I think the tables have turned now you wanted to give an offer, you want to give an offer to someone. You're trying to gain that passion back to do this. You're still hurt 
because someone threw you off the wheel this time. You know what they say, you always lose them how you get them, right? You always lose them how you get them. If, you, if somebody came into your life and you were with somebody and they stole you away from that person, you can better believe that the next person, uh, that, that somebody who's in your life, that person who stole you away from that other person, someone else is going to come in and steal that person away from you. That is karma. That is a, a common saying. You lose them how you got them. Right? You lose them how you got them. Once it happens to you, it's like a new start, okay? You did it to someone, it happens to you, you have the opportunity to fix this. Because now you understand what you've done. All right? Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> so we have this king of oysters here, and he's financially stable. Why? Tower came in, he won the battle here because somebody deceived him. Okay? I'm almost sure that whoever you kicked off the wheel in the past, they built themselves back up, and now they are the, the uh, pentacle holder now. But since it's turned around, tables have turned, happened to you, whatever deception happened to you, you're the one that came out the victor. Because maybe you tried to be good. You tried to make things work. And this person just didn't do it. They didn't have good intentions in mind since the beginning. They didn't. Now, the king of oysters is wants an equal give and take because this person who they're with right now or dealing with right now or you are dealing with right now, that person just takes from you. They don't even contribute. You love them so much. They, they love you a little bit. They're giving their love around to whoever, who knows who. And it's like, you know, back and forth, back and forth. You're trying to make this work. But like I've said before, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Either they're that good person, that nurturing, happy person, or they're a hoe. And that could be the same with men. The only way anybody can change their ways is by something absolutely traumatic happening to them perhaps getting a taste of their own medicine, right? So whatever this person did to you that you're feeling this tower moment in, they actually did you a favor. So what you need to do is forgive and thank them. Why? Because you're headed towards, this is the real queen right here. She looks like a little girl playing around with her little toys walking around with the crown and her wand. But she's stable. She's grounded, she's rooted, she's stable, she's financially secure, she can take care of herself. And she can do this because all of this shit happened to her too. All of this shit happened to her. And she knows now not to let it happen again. And so here comes Mr. King of Oysters, right? He's giving it some thought, he knows He's walking away from some situation that is not equal give and take. And he is headed towards somewhere he knows that he can have equality and fairness with somebody. And that's what this single woman who's financially secure and stable. He wants a new beginning with her. Interesting, right? So if this sounds like your story, then I will see you at the end and we'll go ahead and pull a couple oracle cards. <clears throat> wow, phone's going crazy right now. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and see what the solution to this problem is. And hopefully we can, you know, gain some insight for you to look for your own, for your own solutions, okay? I'm not the solution here. I'm just somebody who's that beginning trigger. You know, I'm the trigger moment that gets you to realize, whoa, something is happening. Let me, let me do some research. That's what we do here, okay? So I'll see you guys at the end. And we'll see what kind of advice we can get from the universe. Okay, so we made it to the end. And we are trying to find out from the universe, from Buddha, what kind of advice they have in regards to how can I do better in my life. <clears throat> 
Now these piles were really deep, really intense. And I did show what's going on in your life that's causing you problems. So basically when it comes to the cards, your problems were revealed. Now it's up to you to make that change. You are the creator of your own destiny. So either you can stay and wallow in your suffering or you can make a change. I'm telling you guys, change is fun. You might be afraid of it, but change is actually really fun. Especially when you're able to make those changes. Move away, travel, do whatever you want, start a business, whatever. It's fun. It's new. And that's what the universe wants you to see, that you have opportunity. And you can have a better life if you're willing to make the change. These cards are pre-shuffled, but I'm going to go ahead and shuffle one more time. Or actually, I don't think I did. Let me just do a little quickie. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I did. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How can I do better in my life? That was our final shuffle there, right? Because I, I shuffle right before I'm supposed to. And then, you know, so I could show you guys. Anyhow, let's find out what the card is. All right. So here we go. And I am seeing, you know, I'm seeing something right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that card. Put these to the side. Now I am going to choose something from the Buddha Wisdom Shakti Power Deck. I'm going to do one shuffle. <clears throat> Wisdom does Buddha have for us? Let's see. Okay, so here is. Oh, I flipped it over for you guys too early. Buddha Dakini. We'll leave it like that because I didn't, you know, I flipped it over. So apparently, Universe wants me to start there. And that's what I'm going to do. All right, so what is so important about the Buddha Dakini? Oh my God, I already see it, you guys. Did I Was I not talking about change is good, change is better for you? This is number 41. That reduces down to the number five. Five is a number of change. Change. You need to make a change. You want to do better for yourself? You want to do better in your life? You need to make a change. Simple as that. Buddha Dakini, the white Buddha family of the center. White. White is an angelic number. White is godly. It's time to make a change in a more godly, more spiritual, more virtuous, more good direction. Replace ignorance by studying spiritual teaching. There you have it. Oh, my God. Did I not? Chills. Goosebumps. You know, that's what's happening here. I think what's going on is you are changing your perspective on spirituality. Maybe you did not believe it in the past because whatever was happening to you was shit. You were not getting what you wanted. You, you know, maybe momentarily as a quick fix, but essentially in the end, you were receiving no gratification for anything that you were doing. That's what's happening. Replace ignorance. That's what you were dealing with. Ignorant people, ignorant energy, making you ignorant, making you look like a fool. Replace that. That's your change. Replace these ignorant energies by studying things that are, you know, good and true. Spirituality, teachings, what, re what reality really is when it comes to energetic or, you know, the Earth's energy and how you can manipulate it, not in a bad way, but manipulate it into a good way. There's good manipulation and there's bad manipulation. This is good manipulation. And the good manipulation is getting rid of toxic people, toxic habits, staying away from those who are not virtuous, and starting to believe that there is a higher source that's out there to help you. Very interesting. Let's read that real quick. Buddha Dakini, 41. 
I'm not even sure. I don't think I got this one before yet. <clears throat> Here we have it. Buddha Dakini, the white Buddha family of the center. Buddha Dakini is an enlightened wisdom Dakini. She is associated with Vairochana, the Buddha family of the center, the color white, the element of space, the gift of Dharma Datu, the hand mudra of turning the wheel of Dharma, the poison of ignorance and emblem of the golden Dharma chakra. She is also associated with the magical function of pacifying, the crown chakra, and the first day in the bardo. She helps manifest awakening of enlightened awareness in the mind stream of practitioners revealing dormant spiritual impulses. She can also grant worldly CDs, supernatural powers. So maybe now, okay, this is what's going on. You are involved in something so intense, so real, but it cannot be seen, right? Spiritual gifts, spiritual knowledge. You are involved in something here that is going to bring you to an immensely high level of gratitude for the supreme being, gratitude for yourself, gratitude for others around you, even those ones who have deceived you. You are changing your mindset. You are understanding why these people have been placed in your life, why you had to go through these trials and tribulations. Why? Because you needed to learn something. Because you are being brought to an intense spiritual enlightenment. You are coming to the forefront of where you are supposed to be. You are putting, being put in front of your better life. You are being led in that direction. Are you going to make that change? Are you? Or are you going to stay low vibrational? And this is your proof right here that something is being put in front of you, a white light, a bright light, something that is going to change your life forever. And if you're getting involved with something, you can trust and believe it will be forever. If you're getting involved in a new business, you will be forever set. If you are meeting new virtuous friends, you will have good virtuous friends forever. In this lifetime, of course. And they're probably part of your soul family going to carry on to the next life. And above all, if you are meeting somebody or getting back and reconciling with somebody, somebody that is a bright light in your life, you can better believe that that will be forever. Right? you got to change your mindset. Your forever is coming. Your forever is coming. Your better life is coming. But you got to put in the work. We all do. Nothing is free. Maybe you're doing things. You're not getting paid. You're, not do you're doing favors. Trust me. That's putting in work, and the universe is taking a tally of all the good things that you're doing, and they're piling it up in one pile, but they're also piling up the bad shit in the other pile. So everything that, if they pluck something bad out of that pile, they're going to pluck away something good. And it's going to keep happening, and whatever's left is what's left. And right here, I see you have no more piles. They've all been, count, you know, canceled out. All your bad is canceled out with the, all the good you did. But there's still one pile left, and that's the good pile, and there's one piece of goodness there, and this is your goodness, and this is your chance, goosebumps in the legs, rising up through my arms, this is your chance to move ahead. If you make the right choice, if you do the right things, though. Whatever's going to happen in the near future is for your benefit. Come at the, in the right way. Be virtuous, be honest, be true. Even if the truth hurts, 
It takes a lot of courage to tell the truth. It takes a lot of courage to really express yourself. Trust me, whoever you're going to reveal this, these feelings, these emotions, these words to, whoever you are trying to get involved with, you have all the time you need with them. As long as you're not deceiving them, they will always be there to listen and you can take your time with them. They're not going to push you and rush you because I have a feeling that this person also knows that it's forever. And we have forever to clear things up and to make things better. But just know that this person that you're coming towards, they've been through everything that you have, and they're not going to take any shit, so don't hide things from them. <laughs> All right, so let's go on and see what we need to surrender. Here we go. Surrender the idea that you can fix someone. That's probably why this came out first. Because first, the divine is trying, or Buddha is trying to tell you, look, you got to make a change in your life. You're going through something right now. You can't fix them. You can't turn that housewife into a hoe. You cannot change anyone. The only one that you can change is yourself. And that's what Buddha is telling you. you got to change yourself. Because you're never going to change this person until something traumatic happens to them. And that's not going to be you doing it. Someone else is going to do it. Trust. Someone's going to come in their life, cause trauma in their life, and then they'll learn. But until that happens, and who knows when that's going to happen. That could be 10 years from now. You going to wait for them? Or are you going to take an offer that the Buddha here is telling you, look, something's coming your way. This is your chance to make that change. Are you going to do it? Or are you going to dwell in the past and stay low vibrational so you cannot do better for your life? Because if you stay waiting for this person that you cannot fix, you can trust that you're not going to have anything better in your life because they're going to keep you stagnant. They're going to keep you down. They're going to keep doing things to you to prevent you from having that better life. Somebody probably brought this person into your life somehow. Because they know what your future holds. And they thought, well, let me put this person in their life and stop them from finding this. Stop them from finding that true spirit that belongs with them. Find, uh, prevent them from moving forward with this person. Because it's not fair that they get to have an opportunity and I don't. So somebody put this person in your life to hinder your life. Hinder it. To prevent you from moving forward. To prevent you from having everything that you want. Why would you come back to this person? Why? What did you see in this person? Why do you have such an affinity for this person that the Buddha is telling you to um, make a change for? Why? Because you see the truth now. Maybe you found something that revealed to you that someone was trying to manipulate your life because their life isn't going to take a turn like yours. Because you don't deserve, you never deserved all those trials and tribulations that you had to go through in life. Somebody is manipulating your life to be sad and lonely like theirs. Don't fall for it anymore. Okay, make the changes you need in your life so you can better your life. This person doesn't want to put anything good in front of you. Whoever is surrounding you right now, whoever is, somebody is trying to manipulate your life. It could be more than one person too. <clears throat> but that person doesn't want you to do better in life. In your head, you're thinking, I want this, I want that, I want the perfect relationship, I want the family, home, dog, whatever. And this person's like, good luck. Yeah, good luck for them, but not for you, because you have a chance. As long as you keep that hope up and you decide, you know what, I'm not going to deal with these people no more. I'm moving forward. I'm going towards my light. Because someone out there told you that you are worth it. Someone out there told you that you have potential. Someone out there told you that you are great and that they love you. Someone out there is feeling that way about you but not the people who are around you now. 
Mm -mm. They want the worst for you. And they will stop at nothing. They will stop at nothing to keep you down. Make the right choice in your life, and you will better your life. Stay away from low vibrational people, and you will better your life. Okay, I'm rambling. I didn't even read the card. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Exactly. You can't change anyone. You can only change yourself. And if you want better for yourself, change yourself, see that change, and watch your life flourish. Watch. If you've planted a little tiny seed and you change yourself, you change your ways, you change whatever you do, you change your outlook on life and people and this world, you can best believe that that tree is going to grow strong. It's going to, like an avocado tree with those big juicy avocados with the, the butter. You know, it's like you cut into it and it's like butter. It's like those trees. It's like that tree is going to grow huge. It's going to grow strong and you're going to have like avocados like holding them like this big. You know what I mean? As big as a softball. <laughs> You are going to see the fruits of your labor. But you got to step away from that fear. That fear is low vibrational. Somebody is trying to keep you in that fear so you don't move forward. They're trying to tell you, oh, this person's this, this person's that. They're not good. They're not going to do good for you. You're going to fail, blah, 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 blah. Don't listen to those people. Remember I told you there's somebody in your life that is manipulating your life because they want you to fail. Stay away from those low vibrational people. Even if you have to fake it, just, oh, I'm busy right now, I can't, I'll, 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 I'll be by later. Just don't go by later, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? They gave you all kinds of false hope. And that's not bad karma, okay? The universe sees that you are trying to stay away from those people. The, the universe knows they are bad people already. And if you gotta, you know... You bend the truth a little bit. You are definitely given a for, uh, a pass to do that, especially if you're trying to stay away from low vibrational people. You're definitely going to be given a pass. Those are the only ways that you can lie and things like that. You know, in regards to the universe, the universe sees you're trying to lie your way, like saying you're going to be somewhere around all these toxic people, but then you don't show up. That's okay. Okay, that's okay. You're given a pass to do that from the universe. So don't worry about karma when it comes to that. Okay, <clears throat> anyways, there's someone in your life you can't heal. You can't turn that housewife into hoe. You can't turn that player into a good, honest, monogamous person until, you know, they get their trigger moment, they get their trauma, and they change on their own. And if they change in time to come back to you and you're not married already, or you're not taking whatever, more power to you, work it out. But if that person is still going through and doing the same shit, you know, you can't fix them. You can't fix them. And I guarantee you, if you do step forward to this change, to this new person, you're going to definitely have to prove yourself to that person too. They could be very kind to you and nice, and you might think, oh, this is going to be cool. It's okay. Yeah. Because that's a kind person, but it's not a person who's going to let you get away with anything. You can trust and believe that. Because this person has learned. She has learned from, or he has learned from all of his deceptions. So if you try to come in with a lie some sort of deception, hiding something, they're going to know. They probably already know. They just want to hear it from you if you have the courage to speak the truth because that's what they want to hear. They want to hear the truth and they want to see if you have the courage to do that. And then you're going to have to prove it. So maybe you come in with no money. It doesn't matter. Payment of truth and courage and commitment is enough. If you can prove all that stuff, money doesn't matter. Because you can build together a whole new empire. Just you two, without all these toxic people. And watch when you make it, they're going to be calling, Oh, congratulations, you did so well. And you're going to be like, yeah, not with your help. 
Oh, you want me to have a party this holiday season? I think I will with my significant other. If you want me to go to a party, I'll go to your party. But I'm not putting out one penny for you people who have manipulated me, stolen from me, deceived me. No. I'll go and check out your stuff. I won't stay for a long time. I'll maybe go and have a soda and then I'll leave. I'll make my appearance known. And I'll make it shown that I have succeeded without all you losers. All you people who try to deceive and manipulate me. Shoot, you might not even go at all. You might just say, thank you for the offer, but no thanks. I'll be spending it with my significant other. The person who loves me. So, how can I do better in my life? <laughs> well, the answer's right there. You got to make changes in your life. You got to make changes that are beneficial, positive changes, high vibrational energy, interacting with high vibrational people. And if you can only find one person like that, hang on to that person. You know, soon enough you will find people like that. But at least you'll have that one person you know who's always going to be on your team, on your side, who's got your back, no matter what. They're always going to be there for you. <clears throat> Only if you're good to them, of course. Now, if you're going to go cheating on them, lying on them, they're not going to be there forever, obviously. But if you're trying, you're doing your best, then we'll see that. You have a chance. Everyone has a chance. Even this broken person does, but it's just not right now. Might not come until a few years from now. Something like that, but... Yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much. Hopefully this helped somebody. I felt really deep about this. I mean, look, we already went over an hour and six minutes, and there was just something about this reading that is telling me to whoever's watching this, you need to make a change. Something good is coming your way. Make that change, or you are going to miss the boat. Don't miss that boat. Don't miss it, because this may be your only chance. My name is Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.